Welcome back. I'm finally back um, after a long stint out, um, just moving house, all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, so I am back finally. Um, it's a little bit different today. It is going to be about Chelsea, which is a bit odd, obviously, because I'm a massive Man United fan. However, I just need to have a quick discussion with you guys about how bad they are. Um, obviously, we'll get into it when I get into the video. Um, stick around, leave your comments in the uh, in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously, the majority of you are going to be Man United fans, um, but I am interested to see what uh, basically what both fans think. If Chelsea fans sort of stumble across it, then fantastic. If they don't, and it's just Man United fans, I'd like to see what you think because obviously we were in the same situation with Ragnik. So um, just let me know, um, and we'll get into it here in a sec. So, as I mentioned, it is the Chelsea video. Um, I'm, I think it's a little bit funny. To be perfectly honest, I know we were in the same situation, like I said, with Ragnik, and towards the end of Ollie a little bit. Um, but it's just, he's out of his depth, isn't he? Let's be honest. Chelsea fans must be pulling the hair out. He doesn't have a plan A, B, C, D. You're just, just clueless. They go down 1 0, inevitably, because the shit. Um, and sort of looks and gazes into the stars like as though oh my god I'm so unlucky he's left all the, all the things that Graham Potter brings his philosophy his culture hard work his determination his his ethos on football I think he's just left at Brighton Brighton are absolutely flying and he's coming to Chelsea and just looks like he's just completely out of his depth he's spent over half a billion pound in one transfer window I mean, you've got to be... En Enzo is a really good player. I've got to be honest, he's a good player. Joe Felix is a tremendous signing. Those two are the silver lining in what is an absolute heap of the proverbial. Like, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've been watching them the last few weeks. I watched them against Dortmund. They didn't play actually that bad, to be fair. They should have probably got more out of it. But um, when they do go down or they're under the cosh, they just crumble absolutely crumble and like that face says everything that is what i've seen for eight nine weeks now he's just constantly feeling sorry for himself and he's he sort of comes out and he's he's, he's just excuses all the time the the signings that they've made enzo maybe is the only one that's been decent and that's what four games three games the both felix Absolute world-class player. Got sent off in his first game. Missed three, four games. Just a shower of mistakes and... I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, it, it is bizarre. Cucurella is possibly the worst player I've ever seen play football in my life. Um, left back. The the left of a three at the back. He's just not, is he? He's just not good enough to be at the club at all. I don't know why I'm getting so passionate because I'm not even a Chelsea fan. But... It is a shame because I did want him to do well. He's a young English upcoming manager, and we should we need to stop. Go well, the Premier League we need to stop going abroad to find Pep, Klopp, Ten Hag, Arteta. To a certain extent, things me to say. Um, we we should be breeding these young coaches to to be at the at the top standard, and I think he found his level at Brighton. Personally, I I, I don't think he's going to be there much longer. Uh, this is basically what the video is about. I just want to know people's thoughts about whether he's going to stay at the club. Um, obviously, new owners are Chelsea now. Um, they might have a different outlook on things because obviously Abramovich would have been gone like that. So um, I just want to, yeah, comment below. I'm just want, I'm just curious to see what you guys think. Uh, United fans, Chelsea fans, whoever wants to comment on it. Um, I'm extremely interested to see what you guys think because personally, I probably think he needs to go. Um, Maybe till the end of the season. They're not going to go down. They're not going to get into Europe. So let's just see where, where the end of the season takes him. It's pointless getting rid of him now because a manager, a new manager, even with a new manager bounce, probably isn't going to get Champions League football now. And they're never going to go down. So I think he's got to go or to the end of the season. They're my two options. What do you guys think? Like, comment, subscribe. In a bit. 